Okay, let's try getting this one done here. Um, I've had a couple, tried doing this one a couple of times and had to do a couple workarounds. So I'm just going to let you see to the workaround. To, so uh, unless it works right the first time, just so you can see how that kind of stuff is done. All right, so um, click New, Standard Inch IPT. We're going to start with the, the uh, circles that are going to be, we're just going to sketch first. We'll sketch this circle here, and I'm going to sketch another circle here. I want them to be uh, concentric. I'll put a dimension on from here to here, and if, let me look back. This one is 2, and that one's 3.38. So we'll go here and change this one to 2. This one will be 3.38. That one's there, so um, we'll finish that sketch, and we're going to extrude it um, both directions, two inches, and that's it right there. Okay, so then we'll go back to this plane that we were drawing on, create a new sketch. Come out here, I'm going to draw a circle here, and draw another circle here. Make them concentric horizontally constrained from the origin point from here to here. Put a dimension on that goes from here to here and that was that one's 1.38, this one's 2.62. So this one is 1.38. This one 2.62 and the distance between the two center points is 7.12. So we'll put a dimension that goes from here to here. And that's 7.12. All right. Now we'll finish that sketch, and I'll extrude it. And we're going to extrude it both directions. 1.25. I think it's what it is. 1.25. Both directions. So it's symmetric that way. Okay, so we're good there. So let's go back here to X and Y, create a new sketch again. Now, this time... You should hit F7, and you should just be able to draw the line that goes from here over to here, and a line that goes from from here over to here. All right. So it created a um, it did automatically project to those that geometry, and for some reason we're gonna well let's see let's make this tangent here. Oops, undo. I want to make this tangent. Let's start with that one. We'll go from here to here. Do this one from here to here. Alright. So this one from here to here. And this one from here to here. Alright. Um, i got to do a coincident constraint between this end point and that circle. And this end point and this circle. And then when I finish the sketch, um, when I try to extrude it, I want to extrude this right here. See how it makes this part gray? So it's trying to fill that, that back in. And we don't want it to do that. Um, uh, at least this time we don't want it to do it so I'm going to do this I'm going to click cancel I'm going to right click and edit this sketch and F7 to cut that in half I'm going to go ahead and draw an arc that goes from that end point to this end point and drag it out here to this one do the same on this end draw an arc that goes from that end point to this end point and drag it out to there so it's got the same thing now what we have to do is get rid of that. So I'm going to click on it and delete it, and click on this one and delete it. Um, then we'll just put dimensions on these. So we'll dimension that, and we will dimension this one. Um, so let's see. Well, it didn't work the way I thought it would. Oh, we'll go ahead and say that these, this is a concentric. It's concentric with this center one here. And this one is concentric with this one here. So now we got the same center point, so we're good. So now when we finish this sketch, we can extrude it. And we'll extrude it both directions, 0.75. All right. So that's one way to, give the, to, to get that done. I don't know why you have to do that workaround, but you do. All right, so then we'll save it. And that part was 210, 6-50. Oops. 210-652, 210-6-52, and it was called a pivot arm, and save. Okay, 
go to new. We're going to start a brand new drawing, ANSI HIDW. Let's see how this comes in. All right, so we're probably going to want to go up here and go to the sheet, right click on it, edit the sheet, and change it to C because C is a much more manageable size. Click the base view, have it come in um, like that. We might even go ahead and go as far as uh, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to change that. Let's try changing it to B size. Um, B size is 11 by 17. And we'll put the base view in here. Yeah, that, look at this. That turns out that looks pretty good on that, that view. Um, we'll put that one in, top view, and then put an isometric up here somewhere. That, okay. All right. So all of that's in. Start to annotate by starting with our center points. Put center points in first, center line bisectors next. Oops, I messed that one up. Center line bisector. I want to go from that line to that line. There we go. I'll do the same here. Center line bisector. I'm going to pick the, the larger ones because it'll go all the way through. Okay. So now we're ready to start dimensioning. We'll put a dimension on here. Tells us what that is. That goes through. Oops, all caps. This one is that. This one is this. Here's our diameter here. Don't forget that that one goes through. And we need to know how far it is between the center lines on those. Alright, so we've got that. So now we'll go in here, put a dimension on this part. And you put a dimension on this one right here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to drag that one out a little bit because we want to dimension this line to this line, but we want to put it out here. So you should never, you should, you should never put uh, a dimension or dimension on the part. It should always be off of the part. So I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Get that so it drags it off there a little bit. So that looks good. And then I'll drag this one back to here somewhere. So that looks good. Alright. All our dimensions are on there. We'll save it. And now we'll do the eye properties. Title is a Pivot arm, the company, project, we're going to get rid of pivot arm there because we don't want that to be the part number, but that is the description. And that should be it for now. We'll apply, close. It looks like that's all filled in. Alright, so now we'll go to... Um, export PDF and that's how you do it so you'll save that and that's what you submit this right here is what you'll submit in Blackboard